Hi, I'm Gabby. I'm a medical student at Columbia, and I'm proud to introduce VASAR, our augmented reality guidance system that's going to transform vascular interventions. So here's our team. Shreen and I are med students. Alana and Bruce are master students in computer science, and Simi is a radiology resident. We're all at Columbia. So what are vascular interventions? Essentially, it's a type of surgery where you travel through the patient's blood vessels. So instead of a large incision, you make a tiny needle puncture and travel through the blood vessels like a highway to get to your destination, the heart, lungs, brain, really anywhere. Once there, you can do the surgery. So if a patient's bleeding, you can clog off that bleeding vessel. If a patient has cancer, you can deliver chemo directly to the tumor. If a patient has a stroke or heart attack, you can take the clot out of the brain or heart. Now the trick to traveling through the blood vessels without opening the body is to use live x-ray for guidance. So here's an x-ray of the heart. They're injecting a liquid called contrast into the vessels to make them light up. So then you just slide your instruments through the blood vessels and that lets you navigate anywhere. But the problem is contrast can damage your kidneys and radiation can cause cancer. Also, this x-ray system only gives you a flat 2D image. So it's hard to navigate through the patient's three-dimensional blood vessels, which branch and wind in all directions. It's as if you needed to know the position of a tree's branches in 3D, but could only look at its 2D shadow on the ground. So our goal is to solve this guidance problem for physicians. Our solution is to use augmented reality, AR for short, which lets you see virtual objects overlaid on the real world. We take an existing CAT scan or MRI of the patient, create a 3D model of their blood vessels, and upload the model into special glasses for the doctor. So with these glasses on, the doctor can still see the patient and perform the surgery as usual, but they also see a 3D model of the patient's blood vessels floating in midair. So that makes the navigation easier, faster, and safer with less damage to your kidneys from contrast and less risk of cancer from radiation. Here's a video of an endovascular neurosurgeon, Dr. Carroll, trying our AR glasses for the very first time. Zoom. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Dude, you gotta try this, man. It's, it's awesome. Your, your face is covered by a heart. But like, if you could put this in the top, like, the top corner, and then be doing like an angio and just kind of referencing that. Oh, look at that. That's pretty amazing. Is this a congenital heart patient? Well, there's two outlets. Oh, this is um, transposition. Yes. Oh, that's cool. So now I'm seeing fluoroscopy. Oh, and so you, so you could potentially get rid of all these screens, right? And this could be your live fluoro. And then you could have your 3D model like in one corner. I think it has potential for sure. That's incredible. When, when I was looking at the liver and the heart, like the ease of use I think is actually pretty good. I think it's actually pretty easy to use. Wow. I, I think it has big, big time potential. If you could have, because you could set up your monitors in a very similar way, so you could have your 3D sort of in the top left, manipulate it, pull it in if you want to, to kind of look at it, and then have your regular setup of monitors just on your, on your lens. We've spoken to many doctors across the U.S. and even abroad. Everyone expects challenges with 2D x-ray guidance. Sometimes they spend hours of extra time with tons of contrast and radiation, or even abort the procedure to try again another day. On the one hand, they don't want to expose the patient to too much contrast and radiation, but on the other hand, they need to be able to navigate and do the procedure. So everyone thought our solution to have a 3D model would be very useful. Our solution is AR glasses and specialized navigation software. Our target market includes all vascular procedures within interventional radiology, interventional cardiology, and endovascular neurosurgery. That's 7 million procedures a year and growing. Our total addressable market, based on a bottom-up approach and assuming a 10% reduction in procedure time, is over $500 million in the U.S. alone. A top-down approach based on the current standard produces a similar estimate. We'll target large academic medical centers first, and once we've proven efficacy, we'll expand to other hospitals in the U.S. and abroad. Our three main stakeholders, patients, doctors, and hospitals, will all benefit from our cutting-edge technology. For hospitals specifically, adopting VAS-AR will lead to shorter procedures, meaning more procedures can be done each year, translating to a significant increase in revenue. Our business plan combines a capital equipment and service model. We'll sell our headsets to hospitals on a per-procedure room basis at near cost, which is a few thousand dollars. We'll provide tech support and we'll offer monthly contracts to make custom 3D models for each patient. 
Assuming procedures are 10% faster with AR, will save hospitals over 300k per month. So expect they'd be willing to pay anywhere between 10 to 50k per month for a 3D modeling and service contract. That's just 10 to $50 per procedure. In terms of IP, we're working with Columbia Tech Venture Licensing Office and we'll be filing a provisional patent in the next two weeks. Since we'll be the first to market, we plan to create a high barrier to entry. AR for vascular interventions is an untapped market. People have tried various ways to solve the navigation issue, but each has problems. You can overlay a 3D model of the vessels on the flat screen x-ray, but that's still not 3D. You can use 3D printing, but once printed, the 3D model can't be modified in any way. You can slide an intravascular or ultrasound detector through the patient's blood vessels, but again, it's still not 3D. So our live interactive 3D model gives us a real edge over the competition. We're lucky to have world experts in AR and medicine on our team. Professor Steve Feiner, our main advisor, is a leading researcher in AR and directs Columbia's Computer Graphics and 3D User Interface Lab. Doctors Weintraub, Myers, and Shalia are leaders in interventional radiology, endovascular neurosurgery, and pediatric cardiology, and they're all leading our pilot studies in patients. We're thankful to the incredible people who've helped us with everything from writing RBs to building 3D models to pilot testing on patients. We're currently testing our MVP at Columbia and will complete pilots by October of this year. Next year, we'll seek FDA approval and engage insurance companies to create a reimbursement strategy. We expect to begin earning revenue by 2020, gain a 1% market share by 2021, and up to 20% by 2024. Right now, we're asking for a 50K investment to purchase three AR headsets, hire two engineers, and close 2017. Once our product's fully developed, we'll seek additional funding for randomized controlled trials. In exchange, we're offering a tenfold return on investment. FASAR will transform vascular interventions by bringing augmented reality into the OR. We hope you can help us do this. Thanks for listening.